Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be a reading for the new moon in Aries, which happens on March 24th. Um, and it will go until we have the new moon in Taurus on April 22nd. This is a very, very powerful new moon because Aries begins, it's the Zodiac New Year, and it's all about new beginnings. We've just gone through the vernal equinox, so it's about rebirth. Um, winter is behind us, okay, so it's all about big change, it's about actions, um, and it's about energy. So Sagittarius, um, we're going to go ahead and just get into this reading. This is we're going to ask or invite spirit angels ancestors loved ones who have passed and spirit guides to this reading for the messages and to give us the messages that we need to hear for Sagittarius sun moon rising and Venus signs messages for Sagittarius sun moon rising and Venus signs for this new moon in Aries. You might hear a little background noise, you guys. Somebody just came home. Okay, so maybe my Sag, Saggies out there, maybe some of you guys are coming home, having a homecoming, coming back to your higher self. The other two fire sign readings have been very, very spiritual readings. So really connecting with your higher self has been a major theme for your energies. And it makes sense, you know, because, you know, this Aries new moon is in your sister fire sign. Okay. I'm not reading reversals. Okay. So you guys get the ace of swords. You get the queen of pentacles. You get the strength card. You get the devil card. All right, and you get the three of wands. Very nice. Overall energy is temperance. So you guys, this is you coming out in your very own reading. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. It's all about earth angels. It's about being surrounded by your angels. A, remem a reminder that you are guarded and you are protected on this human journey. Okay, this is all about moderation. This is about your spiritual journey. It's about your physical self. Um, it's about moderating um, anxieties, feelings, your reactions. It's all about taking the middle road. Sometimes taking no action is the action that you need to take. Okay, and it's also a huge card of healing and enlightenment, finding balance, but the importance for healing. Underneath that, we do have the Two of Cups, and the Two of Cups is all about balance. It's about partnership. For some of you, this may deal with a soulmate or twin flame relationship, or it could just have to do with your family. Remember, soulmates come in many different forms. It's not all just romance, okay? It can deal with, you know, your family pets, cousins, you know, children, friends, co-workers, okay? Soulmates come in many, many different forms. Now, you guys are coming out as like the stalwart of clarity, okay? So you guys are the Ace of Swords. So this is, I feel like your channels are open. I feel like many of my Sagittarius out there, you guys are doing balancing work, opening yourselves up to receive communication from the divine, also from friends and family. And you're, you know, you're comfortable and moving in a brand new direction or you want to take things in a brand new direction, all right. What's blocking you, though, is we have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, and this could be an actual person. It could be some of you are, you know, this could have to do with family. It could be a partner. It could be, you know, a maternal figure or a feminine energy. Now, remember, we all have masculine and feminine energies, so we don't... Um, we don't get caught up in the gender of the cards. But the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's very nurturing, very caring. This could be somebody who works in the healthcare field, okay? Maybe you work in the healthcare field as a nurse or as a doctor, okay? Or maybe even I get like, I'm getting like drawing blood even. I don't know where that came from, okay? But this um, something having to do with your career or having to do with health is holding you back here, okay? 
Um, but this card, this is a card of being a mother. This is a card of somebody who's being very balanced, who's physically healthy. It's a card of healing. Okay. And it's a card of somebody creating that perfect fertile environment because the queen of pentacles, she's very fertile. She has this coin. It's like a seed. Okay. And she knows, you know, she understands the cycles and the rhythms of the natural world when to plant. Okay. How much water to give it. I get some of you might be at home practicing social distancing and really focusing if you're in the northern hemisphere on this springtime and pruning your plants and watering them and that sort of thing but that can also be metaphorical as well so creating but this is showing up as a block so the real need for you to understand the cycles and the rhythms okay of the natural world and then also the cycles and the rhythms within okay so that you can create a very fertile environment to grow and to manifest what's for your highest good now the intentions that you need to set this is leo energy this is strength this is stand in all of your courage sagittarius you guys are fire energy and this is you harness that power harness that power your optimism all of your wisdom sagittarius is a sign of philosophy okay and sort of like an understanding the big picture and seeing things you know seeing things not on a microcosm level at the level of a microcosm but getting the whole big picture and seeing things from the world you know from from the from above okay getting seeing the picture of the world at this moment and then also understanding here that you know also what's going on internally and physically okay is a reflection of what's you know your physical appearance okay what's happening on the outside isn't is a reflection of what's going on on the inside okay and then also some of you might be very very sentient beings might be very um might, might be empaths out there so you guys also are really being asked to step up as a leader here with this strength card especially if you're starting to feel any sort of negative energies enter you know enter into sort of your energy field okay and start to and just try to raise your vibration because remember what you do within is going to affect the collective and right now that's abundantly clear and very important Okay, then what you need to know, Sagittarius, this is the devil card. This is Capricorn. Okay, this is again, this is about negative energies. It's all about taking really good hard look at actions, thought processes, behavior patterns, things that are no longer working for you. And you need this strength and that fire and that courage and to stand in all of your Sagittarian might and glory and beauty that we're seeing here in this card. Okay, to find balance and then to cut out the things that no longer work for you. Some of you at this time might be discovering that there were things that you were doing that just weren't good for you mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. That could be certain people. You know, you might not be able to see certain people and you might be realizing how much better you feel for it. Okay, but it's really all about doing that work and seeing what, you know, what was no longer serving you, what was toxic in your life. Okay, and it's also, I'm getting Sag, it's really important. I'm Spirit wants me to repeat that the importance of you doing, stepping into your role as a leader and doing the energy work because a lot if you're starting to feel fear-based thinking and worst case scenario and sort of a sense of anxiety and you feel like it's not coming from within then it's probably you picking up on the energies around you so if you raise your vibration you find peace and calm okay you you know, you do your spiritual work, then it's going to really help the collective. And we see that here with the three of wands. This is your energy, Aries, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is all about growth and expansion. The three of wands is also leadership. And, you know, the leadership is maybe not being able to go out and, you know, fight on the fields, but the three of wands is somebody who needs to pull back and starts to delegate. Okay, so it's really time to reframe how you see yourself because I see in this one and I also saw it in the Leo reading that fire signs right now, you may not be able to act the way you normally want to act. You may want to travel, okay, because the three of wands can be a card of waiting. Um, again, there's a real need for patience here because I feel like you guys do want to travel. You want to move in a new direction. But something here health-wise or someone working in healthcare. Um, something having to do with that is holding you back and there's a need for you to, to resist making any hasty decisions and making the right decisions because it's going to pay off for you, but also the need for you guys to take a leadership role here. Okay. And I feel like that's in a lot of different ways. It may be at work. Okay. It may be at work for those of you that work in the, in healthcare. 
okay? Or supermarkets or things like that or, or in delivery, whatever it might be. The need for you to take a leadership role, okay? And maybe previously you didn't, but Spirit is saying now is the time for you to step into that strength, to be strong, but then also to be really patient as well, okay? Interesting energy, interesting messages. Um, additional messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Additional messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You get solitude. Interesting. This came out also for the Leo. So right now, um, hmm, yeah, uh, I'm just going to pull a few more cards before I start speaking on that. Yeah. Some of my Sagittarius out there, you guys are, um, you guys feel like you have some insurmountable challenge ahead of you. Okay. For some of you, it's going to be alone. Some of you feel really alone. Some of you need to step into a leadership role and that means being alone. Whereas before, maybe you weren't, um, maybe you weren't exactly, I feel like some of you have gotten a promotion. Um, and some of you might have to step into a role because the previous leader can't for some reason or had to step down or had to take a break or something like that. And so you're feeling quite alone because I feel like this is a new journey and you feel like it's insurmountable that you have to move mountains. But there's a, there's a message here in this mountain card, okay? There's a message here. You know, sometimes we cannot move mountains, but this is a time when you have to think as if you were a water sign or as if you were water. Instead of trying to move the mountain, how is it that you can go around it, okay? So a real need here for creative problem solving. You're that ace of swords energy though, you're gonna figure it out, okay? But you do, you probably need to take some time by yourself. You might have to make notes, you have to might, might have to make plans, you might have to pray, you might have to meditate. Okay, and then you get the master number 33 coming out. So I'm getting 333 here. Some of you might be seeing that number a lot on license plates, um, you know, on the clock and that sort of thing. 33 is a master number and it's the master teacher number. And it has the most amount of influential power and it brings higher spiritual guidance to the world. Um, and it's all about an expansion of consciousness as well. Okay, and ulti ultimately it's about enlightenment, okay? And I kind of see that here with the mountain card. Like, you're going to have an aha moment that's going to really show you how what you were thinking, you know, how am I going to move this mountain? You're going to figure out how to either go over it or around it, okay? Think in terms of more surrendering to spirit versus letting your mind get in the way, okay? Um, and just make sure that you always let unconditional love be your guide, so remember that, you know, life is always teaching us something. So no matter how alone you might feel, remember life is, this is a huge lesson that you're learning. And this 33, it's going to bring you peaks of joy, right? You know, that's natural. Not everything is, you know, we, we can't look at everything through rose colored glasses. We're going to have ups, we're going to have downs, but you're going to get through it just fine. Because the three of wands, that's growth, that's expansion, that's enlightenment. And uh, for a lot of you, this might be at work. This has something to do with work. It might have to do with your health. But then uh, for a lot of you, this has to do with your spiritual journey. Okay, and then you get cleaning house, 37. So yeah, again, this is all about decluttering. And we see that here with the um, with the Capricorn, the devil card, okay, coming out, like checking to see what no longer works for you. What do you need to detach from? Who do you need to detach from? All right, and cleaning the house, this is that Buddhist sort of principle, chop wood, carry water. Make sure that you're, you know, like if, if you're feeling like things, you're mentally getting a little bit out of control here, make sure that you do the little things that need to be done that also will get you into that meditative state to reach a point where you can have this aha moment and you might have an aha moment when you are like scrubbing the kitchen floor or maybe you're stocking shelves at work or, you know, something like that. All right, so this is interesting. I like this energy for you guys, Sag, because it's it's very interesting. I see, you know, I see these ebbs and flows, but again, Spirit's saying you guys need to really step into a leadership role here, and it might be lonely on top, okay? It might be lonely on top and having to make some tough decisions. But the world needs you right now. 
And you guys get divination. Yes. Yeah, so definitely spiritual journey for a lot of you. Make sure that you're doing the work. Make sure that you are, you know, connecting with whatever you connect with. Okay, if that's God, if that's through prayer and meditation, if that's with spirit guides and spirit, angels, ancestors, make sure that you're doing that. Okay, because I see your psychic abilities being very, very, very high right now, Sag. So use them. And then you get ritual. Ooh, here. Okay, for some of you guys, this is interesting. I'm getting that some of you are definitely healthcare professionals. Why am I getting that? I keep getting that over and over again. Okay, and I see that with, you know, the Queen of Pentacles. She's a very nurse doctor type energy. And then also with ritual, with the hands being, um, you know, being highlighted here, washing hands. I see somebody, you know, washing up for surgery. Some of you guys are definitely working in the healthcare field and are experiencing a lot of uncertainty at this time. Okay, so Spirit is asking you to step into your strength and your courage. Okay, divorce yourself from things that aren't serving you that aren't helping you at this time, make sure that you continue your rituals and your practices spiritually, but then also physically making sure, you know, you're doing, you know, what we're being asked to do, washing your hands, disinfecting, do not let up on that. Okay. There's a real importance here for cleaning the house, for cleaning, for sterilization. Okay. Whether that's figurative or literal. Okay. Sad. So somebody here needs to hear this message. All right. Final message for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Final message for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Yeah, wow. And you know, that I, this is pretty amazing because this strength card here, and look at how closely these two women look alike. If that's not synchronicity, I don't know what is. This strength card, don't back down. Bridget's coming out, don't back down. You are going to have to stand up for yourself, for your family, for your job. Some of my Sagittarius out there, you guys are stepping into leadership positions and I don't think you wanted to or you knew that it was coming. Okay. And there's a real importance, you know, here to, to not only trust your intuition. Okay. But also the ritual, do what you know is right. Do what comes to you as second nature. That's what's going to really help you here. Okay. And declutter. Okay. Get, get out of that toxic energy. Okay. Whether that's people or whether that's within a way of thinking or a way of talking to yourself. Okay. Because you will move mountains. You will move mountains. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it there for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you for all of the love and support you show this channel. You guys are one of my highest viewers um, and I love you for it. And, um, you know, I just want to thank you for being on this journey with me. It means the world to me. So I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.